hi guys in this lecture i am going to teach you how to add the border outline margin padding and dimension what are these terms let's discuss these terms first of all i want to tell you about the border so what is the border the border is just a boundary all the html elements have the boundary like a paragraph div span and the heading and all every html element have the border so we cannot see the border clearly because we have not uh, defined the values for the border the border is not visible to us we have not created the border so now first of all here i'm gonna copy a paragraph from the previous file here i'm going to open the previous file and here is and copy this paragraph so now paste it here here create the paragraph text here is the p paste it here so now what we need to do let's render it here in the browser you can see that there is a not a boundary of this paragraph there is not any line so now we are gonna define the line or we can also say that boundary border so what we need to do first of all we need to write the border style what are the border style the border style is solid the next thing is the border width the border width I'm gonna give it 3 pixel and then the border border color what is the color of the border so here I'm gonna give the red color so first of all this is the width of the line 3 pixel and the style style is just like a solid uh, I have given the value solid solid is just create a straight line so let's execute it so here you see that this is a solid style it is just straight line and you can also give the different values to it and the width and the color will not work without the style and you can also give the different values here I'm gonna give the dashed so now it's become dashed and now it's become visible here I'm gonna check the spelling double here we have to write double so now let's execute it so here are the border is become double and you can also able to provide dot it so now I, now lines are is become dotted and here is the proof so it have another effect and you can also apply ridge thin thick medium and you can also give the colors in the RGB values code and now I am gonna show you a shorthand property here what we need to do we are able to put all these properties in the single property first of all we need to put the width then the style here I have put the solid and then the color here I am gonna put yellow and now execute it so now it's become yellow here you can see that this is yellow and now the next thing is the outline so what is the outline here I'm gonna make it in the comment so what is the outline the outline is outside the border the outline is just like a line outside of the border we can also call it uh, it is the border outside the border it is a boundary outside the boundary so what we need to do we just need to change the border with the outline 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 also have the style and it have the same values as the border it also have the width we have to give the width in the pixels and it also have the color just like the border and 
it also have the shorthand property like this so now first of all I am going to execute these upper lines so here you can see that so this is the outline first of all here I am going to place a border so here I'm gonna give the style solid so you can watch it clearly so here you can see that yellow is a border and the red is the outline here you can see that red color is of outline and you can also give a shorthand property of the outline just like the border what we need to do we just need to change the word border with the outline it also have the width and the, then the style and then the color it is just like the border and the next thing is the margin what is the margin the margin is just a space uh, the margin is used to adjust the content in the web page here I'm going to show you a website CNN of course so now open a so now here you can see that uh, here is this is a sidebar and this is a content area so here you can see that this content area this images have the space on its right side so this is a margin here this sidebar have the space on its left side so here is the margin so this margin is used to adjust the content in the website it is the space outside the border so now here I'm gonna remove the outline and here change its color to the red and now you are able to create the space from the upper side from the left side right side and the bottom side and now first of all I'm gonna change the zoom percentage so now first of all I'm gonna create the margin top it create the space on the upper side 10 pixel so now watch it it's less so I'm going to increase it to the 50 pixel so here you see that here the space is created this is the margin top you can also create the margin left so execute it so here the space on the left side this is the margin left you can also create the space on the right side here is the space on the right side and you can also give the space on the bottom side and to view the space of the bottom side you have to write some text below it so you can clearly watch the space on the bottom side so here you can watch this space is created on the bottom side so the text appear here and you don't need to write all of these four margins you can also give all of these four values in the single line here what you need to do just write margin and then first of all you need to give if you give the four values then the first value is for the top side 20 pixel is the top side then the left side then the 30 pixel is for the bottom side and then the 40 pixel is for the right side so now let's execute it so here it is adjusted with the new values I'm gonna make it in the comment previous values so if we give only three values to it then the first value is for the top side the second value is for the right and left the third value is for the bottom and if we give only two values the first value is for the top and bottom the second value is for the right and left and if we give only one value so this value is for all sides here execute and see the effect so the next thing is the padding so what is the padding the padding is the space inside the border here you can see that uh, there is no space inside the border the content is very close to the border 
So we're going to create the space inside the border. What we, we are able to create the space from all over the four sides. So now, first of all, I'm going to create the space from the top side. We have to write padding top. Here I'm going to give 10 pixels from the top. It is the space inside the border. Here you can see that this is, this space is the outside the border. This is margin and inside the border this is padding. And we can also give the left side. Here is the left side and here is the right side and then the bottom side. Here let's watch it. Here the space are created from all over the four sides. All of these paddings in one line by using the padding property. And then if we give the four values, first is for the top side, second is for the left side, the third is for the bottom side, and the fourth is for the right side. And now let's look at it. So here the space is increased. And if we give only three values, so the first values for the top, second values for the right and left, and the third values for the bottom. And if we give two values, first is for the top and the bottom, the second values for the right and left. And if we give only one value, then it give this value to all the four sides. So this is the padding. And the next thing is the CSS dimensions. So what is the CSS dimensions? Here I am going to make all of these things in the comment. Here, let's execute it. Here is the paragraph. But here you can see that this paragraph have not the specific height and width. You can also able to give it the height and width. Here I'm going to give it the height and width. 200 pixel height and the width is 300 pixel. Execute it. So here this is the paragraph. Here border defines its height and the width. The content is overflow. We are able to increase its height. So now it is adjusted. So now we are also able to give it the maximum height. If we give the maximum height, so its height cannot be increased more than the maximum height. Here we have the height that is 500, but if we give the maximum height that is 400, so its height is become 400. Here you can see that its height is reduced, it's become 400. We can also give it maximum width. So now its height, its maximum width is 400. But if we reduce it to 200 pixel and we have give it width 300 pixel, so now its width is reduced because its maximum width is defined and we can also give the minimum height and the maximum height so the minimum height is used uh, when we open any website in the mobile or on the short screen also the minimum width is for the short screen when we uh, many users today open the website on the short screens then it will give the comfort for the mobile users minimum high so i hope you understand my lecture if you have any problems so kindly add the discussion on udemy i will help you as much as i can in my next lecture i am going to discuss how to give the different styles to the table and how to the div and to the html five elements header footers and other elements so see you in the next lecture